Yes, Praise the Lord, brethren. I want to thank God for this time. And for the opportunity and blessing that God gave us to be with the bishop. And I want to thank all of you who have turned up here, all of you following us on various channels through the TVs, the radios, so that you see us bid farewell to the bishop. I've got a few words that I want to speak. Uh, First of all, um, we are in perilous times. Please guard your life. COVID is real. And it kills. My husband died COVID negative. But the damage it, has co it had caused to his life was unbearable. Please observe the soaps. And keep your life. Secondly, whatever you have to do as a human being, please do it because death is just around us. One of the things I have learned from my husband is keeping time and accomplishing tasks. If he was here and we said the barrier is two, by now we would be done or we would be done by two. He was a person who would keep time and accomplish tasks. If he had to do something, he would do it. So if you know you're supposed to do anything, brethren, especially those of you who have known Christ, do whatever you're supposed to do. And for our time is measured. And the limit, we, are, we don't know it. This life does not belong to us. A little word, a little word of caution to ministers of God. Please value your life. I have been a pastor's wife for 14 years. I have seen my, my, my husband doing whatever it could to save other people's lives. But relaxing when it came to his own life. I request ministers. Please. Take your life as something precious. I want to thank uh, Dr. Chiganda. I want to thank Dr. Chiganda. Because today I wanted to speak about the inner man. And he has done it for me. Because I knew. 
that wherever we would, my, my husband loved very much to speak on funerals more than speaking on weddings. And today I had prepared to speak about the inner man. The difference between the outer man and the inner man. But Bishop has done that. I just want to thank the Holy Spirit. It's now up to you to take a step for your inner man. I have uh, cared for my husband. From, from when he was still strong, however much we sought the best service to cater for him, every day I saw his body becoming low, deteriorating every day, every day. Until he breathed his last. You people, COVID, uh, my husband used to tell me COVID and COVID and even when he was in coma, you would still see, whenever I would go to speak to him, you would still see tears from his eyes. And I would know he was in pain. I looked at his body turning into very different things, and I said, oh God. The Bible says in the book of First Corinthians chapter 5 that this, this tent that we have will one day be torn asunder. Bible ye yogela mbako linse chisoke sule yoktano. Nti ombili guno gwetulina lumuguli yulizivuam. It doesn't matter how your body is. Sinsongo mobili guaguli gutia. You can take good care of your body whatever you can do. Do whatever you want. Osova lo koze so mbili guo na ogula bidida. Ela na koze sabu li chinchicho nacho ya gala. But the body will turn into something that is disgusting and it is never satisfied. Na yo mbili guaguli chuka ne gufuka mwe chintu e chinyeza ate ila gote gukuta. It is only the spirit that dwells in you that has value. Look for life for your inner man. We may be speaking inner man, inner man, spiritual life. What we have there is the body of Mr. Senfuma. Why are we going to bury him? It's because the inner man, the spirit, is no longer in that body. So please look for life for that which is unseen that dwells in you. Whatever you do to the body, to the politicians, to the uh, marketplace people, whatever you do, whatever you gather around yourself, this body is never satisfied. It will not go with anything. It is only your spirit that will get out of your body and go to meet the Creator. The things that are unseen make sense for the things that are seen. The unseen bring life to the seen. The Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians 4.16, Ne wankuwa dengo mtu wa fawo kunguru agwa o. Owo mami wange yawe deo. Na yo mtu wa fawo munda adizi wabuja bulijo bulijo. But our inner man is being renewed day by day. 
Okubona abona kwa fokwe chisele chito no kutazito wa. For our temporal suffering that is not wearing down. Kwe yongela nyo kutukolele chiti wa eche mirembe ne mirembe. So much works for us glory that is eternal. As we do not focus on the visible, but considering the unseen, for the visible ones are temporal, but the unseen are for an eternal life. That is why Bishop has told us that they are dead who are living. If your spirit is living, even if your body dies, your spirit lives. Your spirit is the unseen part of you. You came here because you have your spirit within you. You can stretch your hand because you still have your inner man within you. My husband can no longer do any of that because his spirit has left the body. Omwami wange yeta ina ko cha cha sobolo koze so mubiri gwe kubanga omoyo gwe gwa muvudde mudda. We mourn tukungubaga because we are we are sons of men. Kubanga tuli bana ba bantu. But if you can take anything from this burial. Na ye mukuzika kuno obaka ekintu chona cho yinzo kufuna mu. Mind about your inner man. Think when your spirit is when your body is silent, where will your spirit be? Loza mungo mobili gogu kakanye omoyo goguli bedawa. Take salvation as a priority. Obulokozi chitwalinga chintu chikulu nyo. Amen. Amen. I just want to sing one song. Jagala kuimba yolu imba lum. People were asking me these songs I wrote way, way back. Because that is the food that I have been feeding. I want to thank God for giving me the opportunity to serve under Bishop Senfuma. I'm going to miss him. So much. I don't know how much I'm going to miss him. He's been a unique man. I always told him, I, fear, I, I don't fear things that come my way. But I fear if I lose you. I used to tell him I cannot do anything if you died. I used to tell him I pray that we die together because I don't want you to leave me you know but he used to tell me but the grace is sufficient God had we, we have what we desire God has what he wants pray for us as a family, family that we may move on even when our head is not with us. Amen. 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 God bless you. Let me sing one song.